welcome to Snowmobiler TV. Today, the cameras spend some quality time with the folks who make snowmobiling possible and offer up some well-deserved recognition for their volunteer efforts. Yamaha's smaller powered but fun-filled Phaser RTX gets its evaluation and a veteran reflects back on 50 years of cat snowmobiles. First impressions on Skidoo's free ride are shared and we go behind the scenes with Canada's top snowcross team for some insight on what it takes to win. It's all good, so let's ride. STV is sponsored by Yamaha Four Stroke Snowmobiles. Why do you Yamaha? By G-Max Helmets, there's a G-Max for everyone. And by ski -Doo. better rides, better riders. If you're a sledder and aren't in the know about where our trails come from, you should be. Our fantastic trail system is the backbone to all snowmobiling and is powered by volunteerism. Thousands of guys and gals coast to coast give freely of their time to keep trails open and clubs running for our riding pleasures. In an effort to recognize the importance of these volunteers, provincial associations have an annual awards program to highlight the outstanding efforts these people put into sledding. Organized snowmobiling is, is all about volunteers. And uh, the OFSC has had a long-standing policy of, of, of simply saying thank you in as many ways as possible. And so our awards program is one way to do that, to show our appreciation and our gratitude for all the, the wonderful things that volunteers do. So we have lots of recognition programs, but the awards program is special because it draws attention to some wonderfully specific things that have happened and, and for everybody to share in that kind of joy. It's, it's the awards program not only says thank you, but it helps others appreciate the remarkable things that are going on out there. Over the years, Snowmobiler TV and Snowgore Canada Magazine have been honoured to be involved with the Family of the Year award winners. We invite these deserving families out for a sled and getaway, which includes some of Ontario's finest destinations and, of course, some superb snowmobiling. The volunteer families also provided the opportunity to be our test riders for a day and saddled up on brand new sleds for them to try and evaluate. The idea is to give them a first-class experience within the recreation that they are so committed to. It is important to us that these deserving people get recognized for the work they do. For the family award, there's, you know, it's kind of a special place because snowmobiling is about families. Our club structure really relies on all the talents that families bring. The energy of youth, the organizational skills of one partner, the ability to go out and do trail work of the other partner, families are what snowmobiling is about. So when we go through a process where every club in the province, over 230 clubs, each select their family of the year, uh, and then out of all those families, a family is selected for our provincial award, and this is one which I think has some merit which we really want to show off to the rest of the world and, and show this is not about riding trails, what people think snow. This is about snowmobiling as a lifestyle, snowmobiling as something that people love and are passionate about. And because they do this together, it brought, draws them closer together. So it's great for them, it's great for the sport, it's great for the club and the communities that those clubs work in. So I just think by riding with these people, you get some little snapshot of how wonderful being a family in snowmobiling can be. Yeah, it's been like the first time up here with the whole family. It's been really excellent. Any other time, we just usually leave from home and I'll take a couple of the kids and we'll go to the clubhouse, warm up, turn around and bring them back. But yeah, this is like heaven up here. <laughs> yeah. First time we've ever actually, we've ever actually done um, all the kids. We, we, I don't think we've ever taken a trip where all eight of us have been able to go out at the same time. Yeah. So Tess, that's, that's amazing in itself. Yeah. Oh, we just enjoy the sport, we enjoy meeting the people, we, uh, we're involved with the old Hastings Snowmobile Club up in District 2 in Bancroft. Uh, I guess I'm the, the president, my wife she's a VIA person, our kids are all involved, two boys are directors. Uh, one daughter-in-law to be, she's the uh, input person for the permits. And uh, the rest of them just do whatever they can volunteering. 
Well, we've been involved in snowmobiling over 40 years. And the kids came along and they just joined in. We couldn't afford babysitters and stuff, so they had to come with us. So we created sleighs or whatever it was to make it work. And so then as we became more active in the clubs. Wouldn't be for volunteers, we'd have no trails. It would just be bumpy old little trails going all over the place and nothing groomed, nothing, you know, tree falls down, the trail gets routed around it because people, volunteers would cut that tree up, make, you know, make the trail nice. Other people just go around it, it just, it'd be a mess. It's amazing. I didn't even realize that this award was available and then our president nominated us and I was just blown away that we actually won it. And I mean, yeah, we do a lot, but I'm sure there's a lot more families that are far more deserving. And so, yeah, it was an honor, absolute honor. More people hear about that sort of thing, more people will volunteer. And it's pushed us to do more because now we think we have to be, you know, we, we're not worthy, so we have to get, get out there and do some more. So, yeah, and definitely drag some more people in with us. In Ontario alone, all combined, the total number of hours served by club volunteers exceeds three quarters of a million hours per season. That's a lot of volunteerism. Our thanks and appreciation goes out to each and every volunteer who put so much time and energy into our sport. We also encourage every snowmobiler to join a club and donate a few hours of their time to help out. It's obviously for a great cause. Up next on STV, 50 years and counting. 